women that are postmenopausal uh, will tend to come in and ask questions such as, um, do you think I need hormones? Uh, how am I doing in my overall health? The, the benefit of the hormone therapy uh, is multifactorial in that it makes the patient feel better by having more energy, but also uh, I think patients tend to uh, realize that as they're aging, their body needs to be replenished with estrogen if they want to feel younger and more active. Um, again, that's a, that's a personal decision based on whether that woman feels like she needs estrogen or not. There are many options uh, when we talk about estrogen replacement. Of course, estrogen is the predominant hormone that the ovaries produce, but the, estrogen, the ovaries also produce testosterone and progesterone, which a woman will tend to miss in the postmenopausal years. So our job is to uh, offer a replacement uh, regimen that that individual needs, and she may want to take just estrogen, or estrogen and testosterone, or might even add progesterone. There are many options out there for a woman today. She can take an estrogen pill, or an estrogen testosterone pill, a progesterone pill, and those products can also be administered transdermally. Now transdermally, we mean by giving it in the form of a patch, or a cream, or a gel. Uh, anything that bypasses going into the mouth and the stomach and the liver is actually a better option because a woman has to take more hormones when she takes a pill. At, if she takes uh, something that's transdermally, it bypasses the stomach and the liver and you get uh, more availability of that product and less metabolites and less side effects. Many times I've given patients uh, choices uh, and then they maybe take some samples home and see how they do. And they may call back or come back at a later visit and go over with me if they were happy with that choice and we may even alter that choice Maybe she wants to stay on hormones, but may change it to another option. The benefits that a woman is going to receive if, take, if she decides to take hormones is going to be a better quality of life. Uh, most women will not take hormones today, as opposed to many years ago, unless they see some type of benefit, and that benefit has to greatly outweigh the risk that they're taking. Many years ago, doctors would just routinely prescribe hormone therapy when a woman went through menopause without considering uh, all the, the risks that were out there. Now that we have more data, we're more acutely aware of that there are some things that a woman may not want to uh, enter into, such as the risk of heart disease, uh, breast cancer, or stroke. So we'll discuss those. But if a woman's willing to accept those risks and she's a good candidate, then we'll offer those choices, uh, give her the choices, and then she may decide to stay with that.